welcome to Draw for Initiative. This is Tina. I am Sarah and we're painting board game art. Today it's a Railroad Revolution, this lovely game for people that are 12 years and up. You play for about 45 to 90 minutes per round for two to four players. It's a competitive game and you can watch in the iCards up above. There is a gamers couch for this. My dear, what did you pay? So this time I will, I felt like one of those, how do you even call those people who are really into trains and stuff? I never got Sheldon. that. Sheldon. Well, that's one specific Trainers? individual. Train enthusiasts? Yeah. I, I think that's a nice term to describe it. Um, so, yeah. I mean, you were here when I... Mm -hmm. uh, of course, you're always here when I paint. But uh, usually I was looking at pictures of mm -hmm. old train stations in um, the West mm -hmm. basically for hours and couldn't decide on how to put down the painting. So, but yeah, that was basically the theme because I was pretty much in love with the little uh, landscape parts mm -hmm. which were in the game. So I felt like doing that. That's really great. I went for speed. Because mm. I remember you got a need for speed. Yes, not underground. Um, ha! I know something. <laughs> That's one of the oldest in the row <laughs> in the series. But I remember <laughs> something. <laughs> so uh, I went for the the rush at the end of the game that you have when you're uh, coming towards um, what's a Arizona, New Mexico, that kind mm. of countryside and you're really close to the west coast that kind of rush and i went for that need for speed in my painting and you can watch along how we did there and there we go Yee! time to do some rail work railroad or not rail work <laughs> talking is really difficult don't you think it's particularly difficult when you're voicing over but well we're gonna manage. Dear, does it just feel like I took particularly longer than you? Yes, you are, you're not as fast as I am. No, I took 30 minutes and you took 102. Yeah, that explains pretty much why it looks like I'm mm -hmm. having... Mm -hmm. I'm only twice as fast. All right, okay. Uh, when it comes to the timing, yeah, I'm. I I said it earlier. Speed was a thing. Hubby was totally hungry. He was almost hangry, and I still had to film. <laughs> so I had to really, well, make it not a four-hour sitting there. And uh, you mind, mean like <laughs> like other people here? Yeah, or like other paintings that I do. <laughs> Uh, but uh, it actually helped in this regard because I had a way looser way to sketch a faster one and in the end it will help with the um, not with the locomotive but with the uh, wagon is it wagon? Uh, I'm sorry long what day. you're yawning? yeah it was a long day for me how um, could you be exhausted? Uh, yeah <laughs> I think it is. I think it is. Sure. Wagon. Uh, let me look up a word. So it's... the German word is Waggon. That is the part of the train where people sit in. And it's... it actually helps later on with a speedy kind yeah. of look. Um, for that special thing that I'm now looking up on the dictionary, it's quite embarrassing that I don't yeah, I'm remember really that word. I'm thinking about it, but then again that's sometimes where you have words which sound pretty english already yeah if you just pronounce them differently like i have fun with um in german we say accessoire mm -hmm. well an american yeah an no, american it's wagon we were right oh nice an american friend no of mine. it's not hold on that's the german word <laughs> car carriage rail car railway car freight car aggregate wagon so it's kind of a fancy wagon there yeah, but like I said, with mm -hmm. the as accessory, yes. he was uh, quite amused by me saying accessoire. But for me, it seemed totally right in that yeah. regard. So, Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, we're not train enthusiasts per se. So, of course, we maybe do not have that word 
in our vocabulary right away. <laughs> yeah, but it was fun to do this one. Yeah, I really enjoyed doing landscapes after a long time again. <laughs> yeah, we hadn't we hadn't some for oh six weeks, something like that. I think even longer. What was the last landscapes we really did? Let me let me check. Where did we do um, landscapes? Not here, not here, not here, not here, not here, not um, no, kind of not, not a landscape. Mm. Uh, well, I had a landscape. <laughs> Congratulations! Uh, uh, there, Caverna. Well, you had the didn't forest. Didn't really feel thing. like a like a landscape. Define thing landscape. It's a landscape to me. What is a landscape to you? <laughs> This. <laughs> so I'm, a a I'm pointing at the at the at the screen right now where you see the same video as so we a do. building and grass and there are trees and and there are clouds clouds are important uh, are clouds of fire valid because then caverna would still fit <sighs> well I didn't feel like drawing landscape particularly well what did you do for Pathfinder you were just in a forest oh that were yeah no... that was the uh, fantasy forest thing <laughs> well then never really never no it's super long ago like yeah. two or three uh, um, seasons if you go in with clouds yeah well Having I mean not the clouds you would have had um, uh, Pathfinder Caverna mm. and uh, Cottage Garden that would mm. have been the three that I would have classified as landscape. But it's mm. still, even if we would go with a cottage garden, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six paintings in between this one. And yeah, so it's a long time for not having And landscapes. I mean, I really love doing landscapes. That's yeah. the thing I always love to do, um, mm -hmm. except for doing that darker, um, sketchy line work stuff, which I... Uh, did way back in yeah. the time in the days um, so yeah that's the other thing I really enjoyed doing and which I learned to love when I got into oil painting first does it feel the same for except oils because I know you love them so much but if you go for acrylics colored pencils or watercolors or ink do they all feel the same for you when you no. do a landscape or do you have favorites no, there no. I really came to enjoy uh, the watercolors mm -hmm. uh, because I learned you can do quite a lot if you learn how to handle especially with the clouds and you know um, the part where you can just let the water flow mm -hmm. and the paint um, acrylics, I don't know, I'm just not really getting into it so far, but maybe uh, because I didn't do it right or didn't spend enough time with it. I'm uh, lately watching some tutorials because I got a commission with acrylics, so I'm trying to get uh, more knowledge about it, what I'm possibly doing wrong, and um, we will see how that turns out, but it won't be a landscape, so mm, not the same. We will see. I'm trying to do more of that kind of um, of um, painting because I really just enjoy mm -hmm. uh, seeing landscapes. Mm -hmm. I come from the east of Germany, no, yeah. <laughs> but from a different part yeah. as than Sarah. So she's from the more mountainy I'm part. South, I'm way south. Yeah, where uh, are the mountains? Mm -hmm. And I come from an area where it's really, really flat and you can see really really far away and um, there's hardly um, any obstacles that could yes and hardly any people living there yeah. so you have huge areas where you don't see any buildings any church towers anything just pure nature And, and clouds. And of course, I love I love watching clouds. And yeah. you, where I come from, you can't see them um, miles and miles away, and you can't see what weather is coming hours uh, in advance. Yeah. So that's why I'm so much into it. It just um, I grew up with it, and it um, yeah. Well, it's really really gorgeous. I mean, uh, especially when you come to the. Um, either the stormy clouds when there's like mm. a summer storm, mm. I like those. 
or the ones that uh, when you have uh, hardly any wind at yes. our level, but really up high, oh, you have yeah. a lot of wind and you have these almost like, I don't know, <sighs> feathery kind of, yeah. they're, they're not poofy, those clouds. I, I really like that sky. Mm. And we had that when we visited your mom, we had the non-poofy clouds and they really, really look gorgeous. I also like the towering ones, which look like they are so huge and so high above you. <laughs> yeah. So when we were flying to Dallas last mm -hmm. year, And uh, we got over the clouds. I so much enjoyed this view. Mm -hmm. It was just a bit bright, so I couldn't look at it too long. But I sunglasses I, next time. Next time sunglasses, and uh, yeah, you, I mean, I had the window seat, mm -hmm. so um, I looked out quite a lot. And it's really beautiful. Mm, yeah. And I also took some pictures, I guess, but I probably lost them with my last remember. phone. So I don't remember. Huh. Uh, well, that doesn't mean Me anything. Yeah. <laughs> We're in this together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Usually, you are the one who remembers any uh, everything which ever yeah, happened. But I, at I was any time. I was occupied with Outlander. Mm, mm, we we mm. watched Outlander, so sorry, I didn't remember <laughs> you taking photos. So so yeah. I I like the sketchy style you do that. Just to come back mm -hmm. to the actual pictures, I like the sketchy <laughs> style you did in the background, especially. Um, It really suits the style there. I enjoy that. Thank you. It's nice. Thank you, thank you. It's just really fast. I mean, mm -hmm. draw a very sketchy train, put some color down, yeah. make it move, and that enhances the feel of movement on, on the page, and this on time, the painting. I also, I, mean, I think it's really suiting that you um, didn't really go with the outlines for the color, but you just put um, like the green was oh. going into the into the train itself. Mm -hmm. um, that's nice. The I train is pretty much a mixture of colors that I yeah. used for the background. There is green in there. There's blue and there's brown. So that's the gray. In some parts are really yeah. gr green gray. Others are more of a blue gray or a warm gray, so a yellow one. And uh, then going in with a bit of black and to dump done. <laughs> nice. Just dumping color and dumping water uh, this time around. It doesn't feel like it. It just really like it's it's well rounded up. I feel. Thank um, you. If that's even a term in English and German, it works. So shut up. <laughs> Yeah, it's rendered. Uh, that's yeah. that's uh, the same. I think it's, it's the same in German and English. Is it, is it not? I, I mean, English is rendered is the English term. Mm -hmm. What do we say in abgerundet? No? What do we say? Damn, I'm, I'm missing words in my own um, native language. Cheers to I that. Ha I've had that in the last days really often. Today I was using, or I wanted to use the word um, um, counterintuitive. Contra, counter uh -huh. And there is no real German word for that. Contraintuitive? We you, don't say that. We don't say that. That's not a word in German. No. You won't find it. And my co my coworker was like, okay, that's that's getting weird. <laughs> but he, he, what, what he understands English quite well. But um, yeah, he was also like, no, there's no We word. just say not intuitive, also nicht intuitive. Or we don't say... Unerwartet, unexpected. Mm -hmm. or yeah, we use other words. Exactly. Yeah, language as art is just <laughs> a very interesting topic. It's something that I could oh. learn and learn and learn yeah. for all the hours of I, the day. Yeah, I could go hours and hours about yeah, language. And I have all the really quirks funny. of a certain language. Oh, yes, yes. And, yeah. Like if you, <laughs> if you directly translate words, it's just fun. It's, oh, yes. And we also do the multilingual yeah. uh, jokes here, so yeah. that's also a thing. Yeah. The more languages you speak, the, the, the funnier it is. And the longer it sometimes takes to get it when somebody else is making a joke or having a pun with a multilingual thing going on. It's like, hold on, which language is she referring to? <laughs> <laughs> like okay, yeah, got it. Ha ha. <laughs> Keeps oh things interesting. It makes uh, it also um, makes you listen in a conversation. You just cannot zone out if you have people that 
uh, play with language. Yes. You have to listen. You have to be mm. uh, paying attention. And Not happening in our group at all. No. <laughs> and I, I sometimes find that uh, that. Uh, when I find that okay, somebody's not listening for the nice little things, the the quirks in a language, yes. in the way we speak, and they just say uh huh uh huh uh huh uh huh. I'm not interested in talking to them. Yeah, anymore. it's I, like I go home, get too. a coffee, come back, and especially I, which is really hard for me to compensate is when I uh, am in the conversation and a pun comes up in my head and I don't have uh, the words no I don't have language. someone someone who would understand it. Oh, that's the oh, worst that's, feeling that's even worse you have the yeah. greatest pun in the world and it would only work in this situation and the other one won't get it it's just so frustrating I know I so know. I decided uh, if I should ever decide to not be single <laughs> anymore uh, the um Significant other will have to be a decent speaker of English language. So. Yeah, or all the languages that uh, yeah, you have puns in. I yeah. mean... Also some Russian, some yeah. French, so you yeah. can get along with you guys. And yeah, because, uh, I mean, yeah, it's it's fun to play with words. I, I find that so enjoyable <laughs> just to... Yeah. Well, do funny things, and if you get a giggle from from the other parties of the conversation that listen yes. to you, that's so satisfying. <laughs> it says, it, it yeah, kind of yeah, a good thing. It kind of becomes a language of its own, yeah, which yeah. is uh, it binds together a group. Yeah, I feel. yeah, and it's just a nice thing, and it's a nice th feeling to make somebody laugh and just mm -hmm. feel better for a second yes, or two. Very much so. So yeah, we are almost at the yes. end. So we did hardly talk about the paintings. They do speak for themselves. I hope so. Yeah. I, I enjoy yours really, really much. Thank you very much. I did yours. I really <laughs> liked... I mean, I'm very sure that the guy is in the station and he's telegraphing with another <laughs> lady on another station and they're just having a date there. That's what I imagined <laughs> with, your, with your painting there. So we hope you enjoyed our paintings. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below visit us on all the social media sites below plus we are on board game geek so if you want to follow us on the geek lists there there is uh draw for initiative and gamers couch feel free we'd love to and very much appreciate that uh to have you there have fun folks take good care we're gonna see you in two weeks with a new painting bye, bye. we're so in sync <laughs> <laughs>